This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the for each item enumerator in the for each loop container. I'll specify five items in the for each loop container, and it will use those names to create five new folders or directories on my PC. Okay, I already have uh, Visual Studio open, and I'm in the control flow. And I'm going to start by defining my three variables that I'll need. So I click on the leftmost little icon here under variables, and I'll type in the name of the first variable, which is base folder path. And then I'll go to scope is already set to this, my package. This is the name of my package for each item enumerator. And for data type, I'm going to choose string. And then the value is going to be the path where I'll be defining the new folders or creating the new directories. And then I'll set up a second variable. This one will be called folder name. And again, the scope will be the same data type again will be string and here I'll just put a name I'm not actually going to define a folder with this name but I have to set up an initial value uh, I'll choose goose and then I have one more variable to set up this one I'll call folder path so this is going to combine the base folder path and the folder name to be the complete folder name for the folder that I'm creating or the directory that I'm creating. Again, this will be a string for data type. And again, I'm going to paste in the folder path here. And then I'm going to put uh, a name, not, the, not an actual name that I'll be using, but I'll call this one duck for the name of the folder to be created. And then I go over here, I need to set up an expression. So I click on these three ellipses here. And I'm going to use those first two variables to define the expression. So I use the base folder path. I drag that down into this expression uh, area. And then I put a space and a plus sign and another space. And then I'll drag down the folder name. And now if I evaluate the expression, you can see it used what I set up as the initial value for folder name instead of the one that I typed in in the folder path of duck. So it's using goose. So I click OK, and that's all my variables are set up now. So I'm going to scroll down over here in the SSIS toolbox. So I find the for each loop container over here in the container section, and I drag that onto the canvas and I'll name it um, create folders and now I double click on it to open up the editor for it and here you can see the name is create folders what I just named it and then the description is basically what it is it's a for each loop container now I'll click on collection and it's already defaulted for the enumerator to for each item enumerator but you can see there's a lot of other choices here. So then we go um, down to columns and I'm going to add one column and the data type is correct already, string. I just leave it named column zero and I click OK. And this is where I'm going to type in the names of the folders I actually want to create. So I'm using unusual women's names. And I just type in each one and hit enter. Yep. All right, so I've entered five names that'll be used to create folders. Now I go to variable mappings. And what I'm doing here is I'm saying each time through the loop, when you pick up one of those names that I just typed in, 
put it in the variable named folder name. And then we click OK. We're done configuring the 4-H loop container. Now I scroll up a little bit and I get the file system task and I drag that inside the 4-H loop container. And I'm going to name this one um, create a single folder. And you can see how the container expands as this got longer. So if I was going to use more than one task inside the 4-H loop container, I would just drag it in here and the container would expand to accommodate it. So now I'll double click on the file system task so I can open up the editor and I choose for operation, I'll choose create directory and then uh, this is is source path a variable is basically what that parameter is and it is a variable because remember we set up that expression so that folder path will contain the full folder path including the new name newly named uh, folders and then we need to tell it what the variable is to use and it's that one I just mentioned folder path that has the expression in it and now we're done configuring that. So I want to show you how the that folder path changes each time we go through the loop. So I'm going to set up a breakpoint and we'll watch that variable change. So I right mouse click here in the task and I go down to edit breakpoints and I'm going to choose the first one here, break when the container receives the on pre-execute event. And I click OK. Now I'll save the package and I want to go show you the folder where all of these new folders will be set up. So you can see it's empty right now. So I'll go over here to the Solution Explorer and I right mouse click on my package and I click on Execute Package. And it's already hit the breakpoint. And here you can see the folder path has Candice at the end of it. So it has the complete folder path there with one of our names at the end. And I click on continue and then it shows Clementine. Then again, Penelope is the next one. And then Anastasia and then Charlize. And I click one more time and it completes. And now we can go back to that folder and you can see all five of those new folders have been set up in the base folder. So that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.